What's up, what's up everyone, this is Ryan here, and uh, wow guys, um, you know, I, I actually, you know, shit's getting expensive, okay, and I think for those who just came on board, it is one of the most exciting times, but at the same time, it's, it's going to be a lot of critical thinking about what to get your money into, especially if you're new to watching this video, you'll be like thinking, oh my goodness, um, Ethereum is like at 160 over dollars. Um, you know, Ripple is at, you know, 33 dollars. You're looking at Bitcoin at two, two, two thousand two hundred and twenty nine dollars. Um, Litecoin is, um, above 30 dollars. Ethereum Classic is above 10 dollars. Dash is like at 130 dollars. Man, even Monero. Oh my goodness, guys. Shit's getting expensive. I think this is why I want to address certain key key points um, in this episode. So before we do that, let's just do the usual market roundup on coin market cap, and um, then from then we'll go into the charts and let's see how the portfolio is doing. Okay, because those who follow me know that I have done a, a, a sample portfolio on Exodus.io with, of course, my real money. And um, and then from then, I started off with um, a, a, a below, uh, a below uh, three, $3,000. And, you know, let's see how is it doing as of um, today. You know, uh, I started on the 16th, 17th of May. Those who know, you know, I've never really changed anything. I just swap around the, the values of uh, uh, my Bitcoin and taking profit here and there. So I'm gonna be just mentioning that, and then from then we're we're gonna go into the full suite of uh, charts and everything like that. So it's gonna be a little bit long. So stick with me, have a cup of coffee, pause the video, have a cup of coffee, go for a pee break or whatever you need, and uh, let's get started. Okay, so now it's 81 billion guys. Okay, I think the money that is coming in is just sick. I think Trump is having some kind of impeachment. So. I'm not following into politics that much because, like I said, it's, it does matter. From a macro perspective, it does matter because a weaker US dollar will definitely mean that people will be flowing into assets that are going to be going up so that they can get more of their fiat currency, okay? And um, it is proven that the whole banking system is flawed. It needs a, a huge overhaul and nobody wants the euros. Nobody really wants the pounds anymore. I mean... You know, it's it's this it's just going down. You know, if you look at the trend of all fiat currency, your purchasing power is just going down. Okay, and and people have found cryptocurrencies to be like like this this untouched haven. And you know what? The hedge funds are taking notice of it because it's already eighty billion already. And you know, when when I started, it was when I started, and I'm considered like late to the party, right? And I mean, no, look, sorry, I, I wouldn't say that I'm later, okay, let's get this right, I'm late, later, I'm coming in later to the party and it was, I think, slightly below 20 billion when I came on board, okay, I wasn't looking in the markets too much, I wasn't even trading, I was just buying Bitcoin and that was all I knew because I had affiliate programs that paid out in Bitcoin. Okay, so that's how I knew about Bitcoin. I was like, okay, let's just, you know, cash out Bitcoin and see what, what this does, what this does. And, um, you know, here in Singapore, we have, I think, we used to have a lot of BTMs or Bitcoin ATM machines. And I started buying Bitcoin with cash. Um, that, at that point, um, Bitcoin was 380 US dollars per coin. Okay, and I bought three coins and, 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 you know, just, just to get the whole experience. And I started downloading wallets here and there. And I started to, to read up about the technology, about the, the distributed, uh, uh, you know, the distributed ledger technology, what the blockchain does, um, you know, how do you do, how, do, how does the blockchain verify um, transactions and record them down and, and, make, and confirm them so that there will no, be no double spending. And then from then, there were other uh, uh, cryptos that started building on top of those networks, right? And that's when you had Ethereum, smart contracts, and so on, so on and so forth. So 
all these things are coming out, ICOs are popping out. I'm going to mention one ICO that I uh, I invested in very early on and it's literally like 7x my money now and you know it's only on two exchanges at the moment and I foresee that they're going to be opening up into more exchanges and it's just going to get crazy guys. I I I I I really am quite overwhelmed um when I do this and I just want to share my experience um and make make sure that you all have a lot of analytical thinking especially in this point because it's 81 billion market cap in a very short span of time you know and I did do a, a bubble video you know like is this you know is this like going to burst anytime soon and all that so watch that video and then you know start start doing some thinking I don't think so. We just started the bull market, uh, so it's it's not like it's gonna like burst for no reason because the infrastructure is ready, right? At that point when Bitcoin was I think a thousand two and it dropped very drastically down back to the three hundred and eighty dollar level that I picked it up it was because the infrastructure was not ready. People didn't know the market was not aware about cryptocurrencies, but now the market is very well aware. Uh, well, at least a little bit more aware. Okay, and and like I said, the hedge funds are not in yet. Okay. So, yeah, that being said, okay, let's just look at the one month, okay? Uh, okay, let, let, let's look at three months, okay? That, that, that was when I started really being serious about creating videos about cryptocurrency. So, um, yeah, so 21 billion, right? Back in February, 21 billion. And guys, so today it's at 81. Okay, 81.5 billion. Enough said. Okay, let me repeat that. 21 billion, 21.8 billion, February, now it's May 20, 24th, okay, 81.5 billion, 81.4 billion, okay, enough said, right, people know about it, if you still think it's a scam, um, you might want to wait until, you know, this whole thing is like, you know, over or whatever, then you start investing, but for those who know, let's get started, okay, now uh, let's also do the rundown, of the top cryptos okay so uh same thing bitcoin 37.7 billion at 2000 uh, no it's it's roughly 2200 okay um like i said it's an average um there's ethereum at you know 170 probably this probably have the discount is because they are taking the average because korea is charging a premium okay i i i've, I've mentioned that before all right so that's pushing up uh, bitcoin and ethereum prices like crazy uh, you know the Koreans are insane for for this kind of thing. Same thing, right? It's it's all the the inflationary uh, pressures on the money on money that that you want to go into an asset, which is in this case crypto, that is you know increasing your purchasing power because they know that when especially when you keep pushing the prices up, right? And then when you start to take profit, you're gonna have more of your fiat. So you know, okay, Ripple of course has been very very quiet. Um, I'll explain a little bit more about Ripple, those who, who have picked it up uh, late, you know, what's going to happen, blah, blah, blah. Um, you know, those who picked it up early, obviously, I hope that you have taken profit or maybe holding it for long term. Neem, um, you know, 0 0.25, these, uh, 0.25 cents uh, at 2.3 billion. Ripple at 12.6 uh, billion. Litecoin at 1.6 billion. Um, and uh, Ethereum Classic. By the way, I bought into Litecoin and Ethereum Classic uh, uh, early. Litecoin, I picked it up at around 25 bucks. Now it's already at $30. Um, this is a very recent. Litecoin is very recent, guys. Like literally when I started the, the whole... Uh, uh, um, the whole video on uh, Exodus.io, so later I'll be, sh be talking a little bit about that. Monero, um, 772 uh, million. Um, catching up soon, okay? This guy is one is um one of the privacy coins that is gonna be of course uh hitting its one billion market cap very soon. BCN I did a small trade speculative trade and uh made about five hundred and sixty five hundred eighty six um dollars you know small trade uh, was for fun um you know Bitcoin uh Stellar Lumens at ten uh, Doge has picked up aggressively um now at four hundred and four hundred and eight million Zcash and um, steam and stratus okay so waves also has been picking up okay as you can see waves is at 39 percent in the last 20 up 29 39 percent in the last um 24 hours and of course we have stratus uh 45 um big winner here is uh of course monero uh in the last 24 hours at 45 47.54 percent 
Okay, so what have I been doing? Um, okay, so um, as mentioned, I came into this portfolio with only 2,800 US dollars and I have a list of cryptocurrency passive programs that I use to build on my Bitcoin portion and my Ethereum portion, okay? So meaning that, okay, of course, naturally, I can I can buy other cryptos as well outside of this wallet, okay? But for, for people who are very new, I don't want to confuse them with the whole um, Poloniex exchange, right? Because that's like... Um, that's like, uh, wow, that's like a huge range of candy, okay, that's very dangerous. Then you start pick, like randomly picking and chasing shit. So, you know, I wanted to, you know, just uh, keep everyone, you know, focused on, on a few cryptos first. So, Exodus.io has, of course, a basket of cryptocurrencies. So, um, let's, let's have a look at those cryptos. Guys who are new, just be a little bit patient. I'll get into the good stuff later, okay? Uh, sorry, guys who are a little bit more seasoned, who are with me on my channel, uh, who are a little bit more seasoned, I'll get to the good stuff later. So just want to cover for the for the new ones, right? So assets-wise, there's Augur, Bitcoin Dash, Dogecoin, Ethereum, uh, Golem, and Litecoin. As you can see, uh, Ethereum and Bitcoin are always active, So, but you can buy other stuff. So what have I been doing? So um, just to show you, okay, I uh, basically have, programs that I will list later in my description. Have a look at it of a basket of cryptocurrencies that I have purchased and, uh, uh, sorry, a, 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 a basket of programs that I use to supplement my, my trading account. So what does that mean? Because I don't work a normal job. I am full-time into um, you know affiliate programs and at the same time I earn in Bitcoin or I earn in the Ethereum through these programs and this supplements my trading account. So if let's say, for example, you'd like to follow this, I think it helps you leverage, right? Because all these programs pay out a commission and these commissions will come into this Exodus.io wallet. And then from there, as you can see, I have like payouts like every four hours or some shit like that. So, you know, all these are little payments, you know, they're not like huge or anything, okay? So, so but it, it, it all adds up, okay? So that's the bottom line, okay? now. Uh, okay, so Ethereum, right, I, I did this. I took some of those Bitcoins and bought Ethereum when it was low. Now, why did I do that? Later, I will show you. It start, it's already in the money. That's how amazing it is because I wake up slightly a little bit earlier before the markets take off, especially in Asia, and I do my chart reading and scanning, and then from then, I'll make a decision. So I went into Ethereum, this trade, which I did an hour ago, is, oh, wait, why is this not available? It's supposed to, okay, the transaction has not gone through, but anyway, the value has gone up, okay? Um, I went in at about one bit, about one Bitcoin, about one Bitcoin, and uh, now it's slightly in the money, okay? So it's slightly in the money. I'm not sure why is the price not reflected, okay? Another trade I did was I took profit from Gollum, uh, a little bit early here, but my Polo on my Poloniex account, I took profit at the 18,000 Satoshi mark, which was on the dot. That one was the really a perfect you know take profit because I entered at about um, 13,000 or something like that. So later, I'll just show you on that trade, but I just want to let you know that I did, I did a simple buy and sell on Exodus.io. Okay, now um, Litecoin. Now Litecoin uh, was something that I purchased um, quite a while back, okay, a little bit, um, as you can see, Litecoin. See, only two transactions. Like I mentioned, I started this portfolio on the 16th and, you know, just keeping it real for everybody. So, you see, so to as of today, um, the Litecoins that I purchased on the 16th of May is now worth uh, $777, right? And this a little bit more expensive batch, which came in a little bit later, is now worth $781. So it's, you see, it's very easy for people who are new to get into. Okay, that, that is the purpose. I wanted to let you know that getting into cryptocurrencies doesn't have to be difficult. It doesn't have to be uh, 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 confusing or whatever, right? You are not, if you're not a trader, you're not a trader. You just can buy and hold. This is why I started this, 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 um, this, this for you guys, you know? So now, so this is a simple buy and sell and you can just go to the exchange. This is like still, is this still exchanging? No, it's okay. I, I think it's already been credited. Let me, let me take a look. Uh, 
uh, yeah, it's okay. It's already been credited, but I think it's still like kind of running on the blockchain for confirmation or something because it's still there. Okay, so anyway, this is the exodus.io. Same thing, you can have a look at the description. Uh, in my description, it's there. You can just go and download it. It's very nice. You know, you can you can change the skins and whatever, but I just kept it simple for everyone. Okay, so okay, so let's just uh, keep this away. Okay, now, now if you are uh, if if you're new to my channel, of course, I have been mentioning not to chase Ripple. Okay, so Ripple has come down pretty significantly, and today I actually made a trade. Now, I did a trade at um, a little bit higher. About uh, let's let's just look at the at the trade history here. What did I do? Okay, so um, I entered uh, Ripple at fourteen thousand seven hundred and one. Okay, um, I I just want to. Uh, see if it has tapered off. Now, naturally, I would have a cut loss of about 10% if it goes the, the other direction. So, um, for now, um, you know, I entered about a small a small portion. Wait, let's see. How much did I enter? I think I entered at about um, a small uh, amount. I think maybe five, five. Yeah. Okay, so, so this is what I did today. So, I entered a small portion, uh, which is 5.42 uh, BTC, right? A small uh, portion just to try out okay and um, let's see how it goes all right now um, now another trade that I've done which is ethereum today as well okay so um, my ethereum trade my ethereum trade uh, wait where is it Okay, here it is. Okay, so my Ethereum trade, um, as I sh as I showed you, is at um seven point three million, seven point three nine million satoshis. Okay, seven point three nine million satoshis is currently at seventy uh seven point four six. So I'm in the money slightly. Okay, nothing to shout about, nothing to get excited about. Okay, um, and of course I bought about six BTC worth, you know, net fees and shit. Okay, the fees I am just shocked that they charge me zero point two five. Okay, um, despite the fact that I've traded above uh five five point nine, so I'm not sure what's what's going on with that. Uh, for for members who know why, please fill me in. Okay, why did I enter this trade? Because I noticed that it has formed a nice flag, right? And um, it kind of you know, Ethereum kind of like missed out on yesterday's whole like bull run right because i think it was already priced in when the ea members or maybe there was a leak or something so it, it jumped from here around the 120 over dollars mark and it went all the way up and currently now it's at the uh, 74 ish 75 ish satoshis um you know it's it's it it's going right it's going and i anticipate a breakout um, I hope there's a breakout, right? Because you see, if if it breaks out, then it's gonna be going up higher. So I'm looking at, of course, uh, the the point eight zero point zero eight range. Okay. So if it breaks, um, it looks like it's gonna break. So let's let's just see how it goes. Of course, it can break downwards. Okay, don't get me wrong. This can mean that it can break downwards as well. Okay, but uh, the moment uh, this looks like you know volume that's trending down unfortunately but i am in the money so let's let that ride now hmq is something that i invested in uh with a couple of my friends uh you know just just because i kind of like the business model that it's banking for the unbanked so i bought it in when it was like during the ico okay it was 3.2 cents now it's 17 cents and it's only on two exchanges guys Li uh liquid and uh, Bittrex. So imagine when Alex Fork actually does more marketing and opens up more more exchanges, right? Um, I think it's tradable on Space BTC as Space BTC exchange, but you know it, anything that is low liquidity, I kind of avoid. So Bittrex is more popular; they have more liquidity, and uh, that's where I see them. Okay, so having said that, right? I took profits from Gollum. And Gollum, uh, let's let's look at the Gollum take take profit. Uh, 
Okay, so I took profit from Gollum. Okay, and uh, when I entered the market, it was, I think... Okay, hold on. Let me just do a buy-sell first. See, I'm I'm pretty patient. If you look at my trades, right? I'm not someone who chases the market a lot. Okay, can you, okay, can you see this trade? Okay. So this was me buying in at 13 13,020 BTC and taking profit only just yesterday. Okay? So I bought in on the 4th and I took wait, wait, sorry. <laughs> sorry, that's the timing. I bought in on the 11th of May. And I took profit on the 23rd. Okay? Right? I took a small profit here and I wanted to let it ride. Right? So I took a small profit here because I saw it struggling at this level. I took off the the I took off the pro I took out the profits and I put it into Litecoin. So that's already in the money. And I sold the rest uh just I think uh it it was an order. It was a sell order at 18,000 and it, it it, it sold. So, um, yeah, so basically I made about 0.85. See? So, it's it's good money and it's good to be patient. Okay, that's just what I'm trying to say. It's good It's good money and it's good to be patient. And when, when I'm saying shit is getting expensive, I'm being very serious, especially when you're coming in. You're going to feel like, oh man, how much can my $100 be worth? I'm going to put some money into anything that is just randomly below a, a 10 cents. You see, I've seen uh, magic happen on Ripple. I'm going to chase Ripple. I'm going to just buy up some Ripple and hope for the best. Um, that's not the way it's supposed to work, guys. You know, you're going to get hurt. You're going to get burned. And, you know, I got a lot of people messaging me, hey, I'm stuck at 23,000 Satoshis on Ripple. I'm stuck at 24,000 uh, 24, Satoshis on Ripple. What do I do? Um, some people are asking me, should I chase Zcash, right? Because Z Zcash um, partnered up with JP Morgan. So the price really flew, guys. You missed it. Same thing for me. I made the call this week on my 22nd to 28th altcoin, top altcoin picks video. And I called for Dash to be at 100 bucks. I called for Dash to be at 100 bucks. And I didn't have the liquidity to, to go in to Dash. And now Dash has run up 30%. I'm a bit pissed, but we can't chase everything. That's what I'm just trying to tell you. If shit is expensive, let it go, let it come down, let it consolidate, and then you make that assessment. Is the volume still consistent? Okay. Is the vol is is are the is the is the price point where it came down to supported for at least a few days to even a week to two weeks? I pick those boring stuff that nobody wants or no one is looking at. Okay. So so far, the Ethereum play. Okay, is favorable, right? The ripple play, not so favorable. So let's just see how it goes. My humanic is just, you know, just going up. You know, it will, it will just continue to go up and sell down. Whatever it is, it doesn't matter. I got in at the ICO. I got it in like, like 3.2 cents. I'm not going anywhere, guys. Okay, so just, just take note. Now, please remember that when you, when you start off, Get the right set of tools. So Exodus.io, if you're interested in looking at charts, I highly recommend Coinergy. And, you know, um, you know, I, I'm thankful for the people who signed up on my Coinergy account and, you know, they, they purchased the Coinergy, uh, uh, you know, they purchased Coinergy and I got a small referral of 15 bucks. Very, very thankful for that. Um, you know, because guys, you know, making money, you don't make money on YouTube, guys. I make money purely on the cryptocurrency markets. That's all I do. And um, it, I'm very thankful for, for, for people who have supported uh, some of my, pro, my list of cryptocurrency programs. And I really want you guys to have the success that I'm currently having. And, you know, just build your account. See, guys, just build your account. That's all you have to do. Just focus on, you know, on the list of programs that are listed in the description. And you just pick one from anywhere from low to high risk. I've got mining programs uh, that, that pay, like, you know, like, like, like small amounts of whatever you decide to mine. Um, I've got uh, medium risk programs that pay anywhere from 1.5% uh, daily to, you know, maybe paying out monthly. And that's about 15, 25%, not too bad as well. Then I've got programs that pay like daily at, at exorbitant amounts, like 7.2%. But 
go in with, remember, the ones that pay the highest are the highest risk, okay? They can, they can come and go very quickly, but the ones that are a little bit more conservative are going to have been around a while, okay? So make your decision for yourself which one suits your risk appetite because I don't want to go into risk appetite. Always this video is going to be like two hours long. So pick the, the programs that you like and start building up your favorite altcoins. Now, if you're starting out, my, I think the most valuable piece of advice that I can give you is pick the ones that are in the top 10. Suck it up, build some base on the top 10, all right? If you build your base starting out lower, coins that have not proven themselves yet, okay, or they don't update their Twitter very regularly, and suddenly the volume just leaves that coin, just like BCN, okay, I did a trade on BCN, okay, uh, which is uh, Bitcoin, okay, I made a small profit on that, 586 bucks, um, that was, yes, now I remember, the profits that I took from uh, Gollum, I put it, I put that small amount into BCN just to trade for that particular two and a half hours and I made $586. Now, please don't always think that it's the same shit, okay? I am here like sitting and looking at stuff quite intensively. So, I know when things are having that momentum because the moment I sold, that started to come down. BCN started to come down and, you know, today then it's starting to pick, a, pick back a little bit up right so pick your pick your battles okay pick your battles start building up a base and then from then attack the market where especially when no one wants to buy you start buying okay and of course before you start buying don't just look don't just look at the charts look into the technology research the coin that you want to put your money in because it's your money guys the developers um the people behind the coins don't give a shit if you lose money you have to care for your own money and I definitely care for you guys because I, you, you guys are like my, my followers, right? You're my subscribers and I want you all to do well. I'm giving out this free advice so that you can do well. You can, you know, start traveling with the family, start paying those bills uh, 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 that you've always wanted or even if you are in debt, right? Try to clear that debt very quickly with cryptocurrencies because we just stepped into this market, this bull market of cryptocurrencies in March. So if you think you're damn late, no, you're not late. It's just that you're buying shit at a very much higher price than, you know, when I was buying it. You know, I, I bought into Ethereum Classic when it was like, what, 170 Now it's $10. You know, I bought into Ethereum when it was $11. Now it's $160, $170. You know, that kind of thing. So, be patient, right? If, if it's anything that I want to say, please be patient and, you know, never ever get, never get the fear of missing out. Don't give a shit, okay? Just be more mature, you know, especially if you're a young trader, right? Because, you know, money is just so important when you're young and, you know, you just don't have much of it. But if I can advise the, the new investors, the young investors, take your time. Even if you're starting off with 500 bucks, 100 bucks, take your time, be patient. You will have your chance. Okay, so with that being said, I'm... All right, so uh, with that being said, um, I don't... I actually cut off the video for a while. With that being said, um, guys... Um, Please feel free to, to like, um, comment, of course, if I missed out something or I got some information wrong. I'm, I'm pretty old, so, you know, I, I may get shit wrong. So, uh, you know, comment, you know, and of course, like the video, dislike the video, and don't forget to subscribe. And also, guys, remember to trade safely and trade with money that you can afford to set aside and have a nice time horizon, okay? Never trade with rent money, never trade with um, you know, money that you need to pay for school fees and all that or dump your uh, deleverage or leverage on your house and put it, put it into the crypto market. Never do that. It's the most speculative and risky market. And try not to touch margin if you can. Okay, Try not to touch margin if you can, especially when you're starting out. Okay, This is not a casino. Treat it like a game. You know, Treat it like a, a game of investing. And you are here to make money, not lose money. Okay? God bless. Have a great midweek. Peace.